What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Tool Time. In this video we'll be looking at the Arc Tool in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along then you can download a free template for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'm going to pass you over to our lead designer Rory who'll show you how it works. Thanks Ross. So jumping straight into our template file we can find the arc tool sitting underneath the line segment tool over on the left hand toolbar. If I click and hold on that you'll see the next option down here is the arc tool. And we can simply use this by clicking and dragging anywhere within our document. You can see by doing that I'm dragging out an arc and this will change depending on where I drag my mouse. Now we have a few ways of adjusting this on the fly. I can use my up and down arrows to adjust the slope of this arc. Tapping the up arrow is going to make this much more severe and tapping down is going to reduce how much it arcs until we actually invert this instead. So I'm going to hold up a little bit more. I can also invert this with a press of a button so if I just press F on my keyboard I can flip the arc to be a different direction which is also really useful. So I'm just going to let go and we have our path created. What I'll do is select this and just press command C and command F to create a duplicate and I'm going to go over to my properties and just flip this vertically and horizontally to create a closed shape instead and I'm just going to scale this down. Now we have a few more options. If I double click on the arc tool we actually get a pop-up where we can enter precise values. You'll also see we have options to change the type of arc we create. So we can actually create a closed shape which we'll show you in just a second with a shortcut as well and we can also change which axis this is created on. You'll also see we can adjust the slope to either be concave or convex like we were just showing you within this dialog box as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and click cancel for now. I'm going to click and drag out another arc here and if I tap C on my keyboard we are able to create a closed shape instead as I was saying. So I'll let go to create this shape. What I'm going to do is drag out another shape and if I hit X on the keyboard we're now actually changing which axis this has been created on. This is inverting the arc but we're still creating a closed shape. If I hit F on the keyboard we can still flip this and create a shape this way as well. I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to use my smart guides to create a shape the exact same size as our initial shape here and we can always add a fill color to this just to make something slightly more interesting looking. And moving on to the last example I'm going to grab the arc tool again. I'm going to click and drag. I'm going to press C to make an open path and another thing we can do is hold shift and that's going to essentially lock the aspect ratio and it's going to create a more symmetrical arc which is great for slightly more precise precise designs. I can adjust the slope of this with my arrows. I'm going to go for something a little bit more subtle here. Hold shift and I'll let go. Switch to my selection tool and now I'm just going to reposition this to sit above and below these two circles here and holding option or alt on a PC I'm just going to click and drag out a duplicate. I will flip this and we'll reposition this to align with our original arc here and I can always resize these as well. So this is just a quick example but that's it for an overview of the arc tool in Adobe Illustrator. Mm -hmm. 